guys, it's Missy, and today I'm going to be reviewing slash opening a Japan Crate, which is a monthly subscription service that just sends you really cool Japanese candy each month, and yeah, so here's the box. I opened the box, like took the tape off before this video so I wouldn't have to, and it like popped open and now it won't go closed, so this is just what the front of it looks like. And the back is my favorite part because it's got like Japan and then it's like delivering it to your house and I think that's just so cute. Oh boy, it is like completely crammed full. Oh, look how the lid is so cute. Oh. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I seen was these two little papers. This one is talking about Crunchyroll and how you get to watch anime and all of that stuff, read manga. A bunch of cool stuff about Crunchyroll, which I do have that on my phone. And then there's this little comic book pamphlet thing. I've heard about these. There's like little comics in each of them. And then it just talks about like the stuff that's in the box and just about the box in general. So here's the page with all of the like goodies inside. And I'm going to refer to this probably because I probably won't know what the heck half of these are. And then here's the comic. The chick looks like me because she's got like the same colored hair. Oh, and... They did tell people who subscribed to January's box that the candy kit that was supposed to be in it got really damaged, so they put in some other type of items instead of that, which are supposed to be better than the candy kit. So I'm kind of excited to see what I got. Really wanted the candy kit though, but that's okay. Okay, so the first thing is this little bag of potato chips. I don't think I've ever had Japanese potato chips before. They just look like plain old regular chips. I don't know. They're called the uh, sushi or umi potato chips, and they're either light salt or plum. Plum. Let's hope I did not get plum. That just sounds really gross. Oh lord. Next is this kalpi or kalpis, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, little candy gummies. I had the strawberry flavored of this, it's a drink, and it tastes like watered down strawberry milk. And I think that's what it is. I don't exactly know, but I really hope these taste a lot better than what the drink did. And I think this is just the original flavor because it's just a plain white instead of like strawberry. But there's those. The next thing is just this big box of hockey and it's just the chocolate flavored. They look like they would taste a lot better than like the regular box of chocolate hockey. I don't know why they look like they taste better. Maybe it's just because they're going into milk. I don't know, they just look a lot better. Oh, then there's Hello Kitty kind. I feel like this is uh, pretzel sticks instead of like a regular biscuit. I don't know. Usually if it's a character themed, it's like a pretzel or a cookie rather than like the regular Pocky, but on the back, it's got a little Hello Kitty comic, but it's covered up by the thingy that tells about the nutritional facts, but there's that. Then here is some Pokemon chewing candy and it's in um, pineapple flavored. I'm not sure if it's bubblegum or if it's like Haichu, but yeah, so I love pineapple favorite things. So this is really weird. It's a tube of shortcake, maybe, maybe sweet tarts. This looks like these little towels that I got before from like some random person at a fair. Like you put the little tablets in water and they expand. Wouldn't that be awesome if you put the tablet in the water and it like turned into a cake? I doubt that's what it is, but... I found Waldo! <laughs> it says, where's Wally? His name is Waldo, not Wally, so... But this is just a pack of bubblegum with where's Waldo on it. Soft and long-lasting flavor gum. Next is sweet potato candy. A little bag of sweet potato candy, which they're harder than a freaking brick. <laughs> I don't, I'm gonna see what these are. I feel like sweet potato candy is gonna taste like crap though. They are yam white chocolates. It says white chocolate is mixed with sweet potato to create the ultimate mix of sweet and salty flavors. I mean, I like sweet potatoes and I like white chocolate, but I'm not sure if I would like them together. Maybe they'll taste like sweet potatoes with marshmallows on them. That's pretty good, so hopefully they taste good. Next is some bubbly orange candy. I think it's supposed to be like an orange soda because the little candy is shaped like a bottle of soda. I love the cola soda candy from like Japan and stuff, and maybe this will be actually really good too, but yeah. 
And then there's a big pack of Strawberry Haichu. And this looks different than normal Haichu I have. Normally it's just like a little piece of whitish candy and this is like pink with little red polka dots on it. So maybe it's like crunchy or something. I have like a lemon flavored one and it has these little lemon crystals in it and they're crunchy and it's, oh, it's freaking bomb. And I don't know, maybe these will taste like that. But <laughs> I thought I could smell the strawberry, but it just smells like plastic. The last two items are these two little pens. This one is says Sweet Believe. I think it's just like a little gel pen. I don't know, it's a fancy shape and it's got a diamond on the end. And then this one it has little kitties on it. But like the part that has the kitties is like so freaking skinny. That's weird. So I think that's everything that was in the box. There's just some tissue paper. <gasps> There's a squid! I really freaking love squids. That's not a squid though, that's an octopus. Th this box is just so cute, like the little prints on it and stuff. Anyway, that was all the amazing goodies I got inside this month's Japan crate. I really like everything. I feel like I like it more than Japan candy box just because this has like a better variety of candy and it's not like common Japanese candies. Like there's weird ones. Like I've never seen these potato chips or the sweet potato candy. Like I've never seen that. And then this Haichu is completely different than the Haichu you can get at the store. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll put a link to Japan Crate in the description box so you guys can check it out and maybe order one if you want. And yeah, so now I gotta wait for my boyfriend to come back over so we can try all these amazing candies. But Bye guys, thanks for watching. Have a super duper fabulous day. Bye.